Okay guys, we are going to talk about standing up on your board. Now this is really important if you're surfing a smaller stand up paddle board, but even if you are on a bigger board, uh, it's going to be beneficial to do some of the things I'm going to show you here. But certainly as you're learning, you don't have to be on a super tiny board like I'm on. I'm um, 200 pounds and this is an 88 liter Portal Surf Designs Phantom. Loving this board and it is about as tiny as I will go. But this will be valuable, you know, let's say you're 200 and you're surfing a 150 liter board. It's still going to be valuable to watch this video. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm straddling my board. Now you might be doing this as you wait for a wave. I encourage people to sit down on their boards. One that's going to allow you to rest your legs a little bit and certainly we do want to be standing because of the advantage of seeing the waves come in but you don't need to stand the whole session the other thing that this is nice for is if you're surfing with other surfers you're not always standing up kind of looming over them from a standing position it's nice to sit down and kind of blend in with the rest of the surfers um, shouldn't be surfing in a crowd really no matter what your level is in a heavy crowd but if there's surfers around you it's a uh, good etiquette to sit down so here I am seated on my board and the first thing I want to point out are my hands so I'm gonna put my hands on the front of my board in a balanced position so I'm basically seated over the midpoint of my board and you know so the handle would be kinda under my hips here and my hands are going to be out in front of me and I'm going to have my paddle on my strong side so most people if your regular foot you're going to want to have it on your right side because likely your right side is your strong paddling side and that's also the side my hips are going to be open towards so I'm going to play this forward and show you um, what I'm talking about here by holding my paddle with my hand as I push up so that when I stand up the paddle is in my hand that's gonna be really important because the paddle is my balance stick and if I don't have that with me and immediately put in the water I'm not gonna be stable so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to hook my feet on the back of the board so here I am I'm pressing with my hand you see the paddle is in my hand the handle is actually right there and this is the shaft so the handle I'm not actually holding the handle it's just uh, just the very top of the shaft on the paddle um, here. So I'm going to hook my feet up onto the board like this. And what that does is it's going to give me something to press off of. Rather than going to my knees first, that's a kind of a bad habit to get in. It's going to tear up your knees, uh, likely dent the board uh, from the pressure and uh, this is a much faster and once you get it more effective way to stand up so I'm hooking my feet my big toe is on the board and I'm going to use that to press off of on my feet and to also press off of with my hands and as I go to stand up I'm gonna bring the paddle with me so my feet are on the board my hands are pressing in front and I'm going to press up with my hands and at the same time bring my feet up under my body and you can see they're almost both completely in the air right now it doesn't need to be that but you can kind of inch it forward but I find the smoother you make this motion the easier it is to then be standing so my feet come forward and again I'm on a smaller board so certainly if you're on a more challenging board you want to try to stagger your stance a little bit so again I'm regular foot so my left foot is slightly in front of my right the sweet spot on this board is actually very tiny so therefore I want to stagger my feet so that I can shift my weight back and forward to find that sweet spot so now you watch that paddle that was in my hand I'm bringing it up in the whole time that paddle is in the water as I bring my feet up into now because I need that paddle for stability. If you can see my board is almost completely under the water. I have a little bit of positive flotation but barely any and that paddle is in the water. That's like a 
walking stick or a cane, all right? That's gonna be my third leg to help balance on the board. You see my feet are staggered and then I'm keeping that paddle in the water because that is where I'm gonna find my balance. And so this is just gonna go, and I could talk a little bit about balancing on the smaller board. Once you're up, the biggest mistake people make is that they take their paddle out of the water. So you see my paddle is constantly in the water, just feeling the water. See how it's feeling the water and I'm pressing off of it? If you watch our tutorial video on the J stroke, that'll also be very valuable in um, standing up on a smaller board. And then if you wanna get fancy and sit down on, on your board without going to your knees, you can bring your feet slightly forward on the board so my feet are just past the center point it's gonna sink the nose and look how I have my paddle in the water the whole time the nose is gonna sink and then I just crouch down sit my butt on the middle of the board and now I am seated um, again if you want to get fancy a little bit it's something fun to try so let's watch that from a, another angle here uh, this time I'm going to be facing forward so same thing my hands are on the board I have that paddle out to the side and it's in my hands I'm hooking my feet onto the board and then in one smooth motion I'm going to be bringing my feet up and under and pressing up on my hands and watch the paddle. So I'm bringing my feet up, my hands will then leave once my feet are there, and then I have that paddle immediately in the water to press off of. If you take that paddle away from me right now, I am definitely falling in. And then again, I'm using that paddle stroke to keep my balance on the board. And I'll just play this forward so you can see what I'm talking about as far as from a balancing perspective, just having that paddle in the water as my walking stick uh, to create all kinds of balance. You see, I got a staggered stance so that I can shift my weight forward and back on the board using the J stroke here to balance on the board. Also a critical component of balancing on smaller boards. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how to pop up again. Don't think that you need to be on a super tiny board to uh, to institute this technique. Um, it's it's going to be valuable for popping up fast to go get to the wave uh, once you've been seated or just popping up the first time and it'll save your knees. It'll save dents on the board. It'll help you be faster to getting up and uh, all around it's just a more effective tool and then if you want to practice sitting down like this get the nose down and then sit down on the board is also a fun thing to practice so hope you guys enjoyed this hope it was valuable for you and uh, go out and try it i'll play it forward here another time so you can see you can watch it again and uh Really want to stress keeping that paddle in the water as you stand up and staying low. Knees are bent, low center of gravity. Hope you guys enjoy. Come visit us down in Nosara. Check out bluezonesup.com and we'd love to have you at one of our all-inclusive week-long sub-surf coaching retreats in beautiful Nosara, Costa Rica.